Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, really, really important video. I'm gonna try to get right to the point because people do have a low attention spans. If you hear a little bit of a humming, that's my AC, it's just too, too hot. Anyway, in today's video, I wanna go over and condense everything into five essential things that you essentially need to have or needs to be in place in order if you want to reach your health and fitness goals. Doesn't matter what your goals are, trying to gain weight, lose weight, maintain, gain lean muscle, doesn't matter. The first thing that you need, and the first couple are gonna be pretty, pretty obvious, but um, I do have to address them. Number one is your diet. I've said this time and time again, without having a proper diet, you're not gonna reach your health and fitness goals. That's a fact. I don't care what anyone says, any infomercial that guarantees uh, taking a magic pill it doesn't matter and it also doesn't matter what the goal is if you're trying to gain weight and you're a skinny guy and ectomorph you're gonna have to eat you're gonna have to keep eating eating proper track your calories if you have to and be in a surplus if you're trying to maintain you have to keep that consistency if you're trying to lose weight you're gonna have to be in that caloric deficit diet is very very important the majority of the time you're away from the gym, you're not working out, you're sleeping, you're going to work, and you're essentially, uh, your body is running 24 hours, seven days a week. And that's why the diet is more important. And speaking of working out, that comes to my second piece of advice, aspect that you need to successfully uh, reach your goals, and that is your workouts. It's all about the quality over the quantity. When I tell people that I work out three times a week for say a little over an hour each time uh, some people are a little bit uh, surprised they think that I'm, I'm working out five six seven days a week and some people do do that that depends on what type of goals you have if you're an endurance athlete a runner that's gonna pertain and be more uh, pertinent and relevant to your type of um, uh, goals that you have but for the average Joe, uh, you don't really um, need to work out that much. And if you do, that's fine, but it's all about the quality of the workout, not the quantity. You know, you could work out for, on paper, five, six hours a, a week, and you go to the gym and you work out for two hours at a time, a couple times a week, and then you get the second person who works out 45 minutes a couple times a week. Uh, the person that's really busting their butt and they're revving up their metabolism and really giving it their all during that 45 minutes is probably going to benefit more from uh, the workout than the person just kind of chit-chatting and not really uh, picking up the intensity. Why? Because for one, the person that has more intensity during their workouts, they're uh, going to be uh, burning more calories during the workouts. but. The other aspect is the amount of calories that you burn after you work out. It's been proven between like 24 and 48 hours after you work out, your metabolism is actually revved up. So some people just only think about um, calories burned at the gym or during a workout, which is fine. You know, they're on the elliptical and, you know, um, on a treadmill, those high tech, really nice treadmills, and it has the amount of calories that you're. That, that, that you burn it tells you and people focus on that and that is completely fine but outside of the gym you're you're still working out so if you work out really really hard think about it you bust your butt harder during your workouts you're gonna be reaping the benefit uh, excuse me the benefits you can be reaping the benefits after the workout so once again the diet needs to be in check the nutrition those are the the um, most obvious ones now not so obvious number three is sleep you need to get good, adequate sleep. It's been proven once again that uh, lack of sleep uh, raises a stress hormone. You may have heard of the, heard of this called cortisol, and that is anti-productive. Uh, it's counterproductive, counterintuitive to uh, reaching your goals. Having all that stress, it's really bad, especially if you're trying to build a lean muscle. It slows down your metabolism if you're trying to lose weight. Lack of sleep is just not good, and, and you're just not really focused. You're gonna be all groggy driving. You're not gonna be focused at work. Yada, 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 you guys know what I'm talking about. Now, some of you guys and gals might be saying, hey man, I have a full plate on my job. I, uh, I have a full plate. I have to do all sorts of crap. Totally, totally understandable. We live in, this is the real world, and understand. If, if you just cannot get your eight hours, your seven hours, six hours, whatever, and everyone's a little bit different, 
uh, try to take uh, 20 minute power naps throughout the day if possible. It's going to be like a recharge, kind of like your car, you get recharged, you know, those, those electrical cars, you get that recharge, boom, you feel good. Uh, the sleep is very, very important. Also, if you don't get lack of sleep, it's going to hinder your workouts as well. And also, um, there have been studies in which people that are more sleep deprived tend to overeat. So uh, sleeping is uh, very, very essential. So that's number three. The fourth um, aspect and tip I want to give that needs to be aligned in order for you to reach your um, fitness goals is that you want to have some concrete goals, some specific goals. It could be something uh, as small as, okay, by this summer I want to lose 10 pounds or 5 pounds and you have a date and you circle it. Now this may put a little bit of extra pressure on you, but you know what, that's the real world, that's how it goes. Uh, you have a little bit of pressure, what it's gonna do, excuse me, is it's gonna make you be held accountable. If you don't have any concrete goals and a certain date, then you're kind of, I'm not saying you can't reach your goals, but it will definitely um, probably lessen the chances, especially if you're a type of person that kind of you know does something and then you really really try it and you can't reach your goals but if you write on that calendar June 1st blah 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 I want to be a size size 4 dress if you're a female or boom 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 um, I want to bench 225 for for a couple of reps something really really concrete because that really really helps because a lot of times you could just be you know going through the motions and I'm prone to that too we're all human so it could be something as small as just losing a few pounds or something huge such as I want to compete in American Ninja Warrior or I want to do a triathlon or I want to do a body transformation and hire a professional photographer and take some progress pictures uh, doing something like that is going to ignite the fire and it will hold you accountable now whether you reach those goals that's completely up to you so that's the fourth uh, aspect a tip that I have have a concrete goal and last but not least number five I know this video was hopefully it wasn't supposed to get too too long but it's very very important the most important out of everything the number five tip the last tip is your mentality I, I you could just have everything else in check all the other stuff that I mentioned uh, in, uh, in this video and it's gonna be thrown out the window of this window right here. It's gonna be thrown out the window because the mental aspect is the hardest thing and the reason why uh, people fall short of their goals. Now, it could be a lot of other reasons, but it's the mentality. Very, very hard to um, change that mentality, some more than others. A lot of people use food as a crutch. Uh, they've had some trauma in their life, been bullied, uh, or maybe it's a cultural thing where food is comfort, or let's say you're like 16, 17, you're still living at home and your parents just buy junk food. There's a lot of challenges in life um, that can, you know, change that brain chemistry or solidify that Brain, well, I shouldn't say solidify because the brain chemistry can change, but you, you're basically are hardwired into having a certain mentality, and that is the number one thing that's very, very hard to break. But the good news is that it can be broken, and um, once you uh, believe in yourself, and that sounds really, really cheesy, but when you really, really want something, and you almost, uh, depending how far, how far off you are from reaching your fullest potential it has to be sort of a um, an obsession to a point in a certain way when I say obsession I don't mean starving yourself and doing it in an unhealthy way but being laser focused being laser focused and really going after it uh, not to go off too much on a tangent but you know I I have had people personally ask me for health and fitness advice or they say they, they or they say, yeah, or excuse me, uh, again, tongue-tied, they say they want to change. And um, not to be too judgmental, but a lot of times um, I just look right into their eyes and um, you can tell they're not ready. So I will give some fitness advice, but um, in the past I've, you know, typed things out for people and, you know, 
they last a few days and then they're just back to square one. So, you know, you have to really, really want it. You have to really fundamentally, truly want it. And once you start to, let's say, uh, reach a goal, a concrete goal, like I mentioned earlier, once you reach that small goal and you accomplish it, you can build on that. And once you start believing that you can do it, guess what? The sky's the limit. And you're gonna be able to do 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 another goal and another goal and accomplish another one. It just keeps going, going, and going. You gotta build on that, kind of like a house. You lay the brick, the foundation, and then you start building. Next thing you know, you got your roof, then you got your chimney, yada yada. The chimney cap uh, during a storm, mine fell off, but <laughs> that's another story. Okay, so this is probably going on over uh, 10 minutes or around there. So that's it. Ho hopefully um, that was helpful. Um, this this uh, channel for you guys, you guys that follow me, it's no nonsense. I don't guarantee anything. You just have to bust your butt, work hard, and um, really, really want it. So that's my uh, advice. And real quick, uh, as an honorable mention in the top five, it's I just had to condense it into five, but having a, a good support uh, system, a support network, a group of friends, your significant other, whoever, uh, support system in general is also good. It's a good icing on the cake to have whenever you're having those uh, down times and you're feeling not motivated. Appreciate all your support. Catch you guys next video. Bye.